I want to point out the nakedness, the utter simplicity, the effortlessness of the awareness that you already are. It is not an accomplishment. It is only that somehow there is a mistake in, in the identifying. We are identifying with the I, me, the I which is the natural sense of consciousness. Nobody can remove this consciousness is in the body. And this consciousness wants to know itself. This consciousness announces itself in the body as I. The feeling I means consciousness. When you say I, I means consciousness. <laughs> When you say George, George is really also consciousness, but it's consciousness conditioned with circumstances, with family, with beliefs, hmm? with ideas. You know, so many factors contribute to the modification called George or whatever. But that's happening within the consciousness. The consciousness actually remains pure, but it's associating with some qualities which is taken to be also itself. And usually it's these qualities, the conditioned aspect of itself, that comes into confusion. If spirituality means anything, if religion means anything, is to sieve out, to comb out these associations so that the I am remains just again by itself. Because when the I am is by itself, there is pure satisfaction and peace. When the I am for a while is identified with the body, with uniqueness, with individuality, with meanness. For a while it enjoys this. It enjoys its unique expression. It enjoys that I can think and you can't tell what I'm thinking. It enjoys all of this. It enjoys independence. It enjoys a sense of pride in creating something which I take credit for. It enjoys all of this. It's also part of the expression of consciousness. And for a while, that will continue. But gradually, that stage also begins to tire, and the consciousness wants to move on from this also. It sees, okay, in a way, it seems I can go around, this world can be an enormous, unending playground for consciousness. But at a certain point, some effects, some experiences drive the consciousness beyond merely entertainment or ego and is searching for something that's more stable then the outer world is not going to be sufficient it has to go inside it has to discover something this is the the kind of journey it's making you see then all of these things i yes but i understand i don't understand i think and so on they're useful and there are advices up to a point about this but here i'm inclined not to want to give them anymore enough advice about this thing to do and how to control the eye and so I'm saying all of it for me it's, it's illusory it can be there enjoy it but un enjoy it being awake to the true you're just the consciousness you think but how can I make use of this how can who make use of it you are consciousness yes but that doesn't make sense to me it's not enough for me but for you who this is just a thought arising in the consciousness. And it's a little, it's a subtle shift, but that shift is the difference between heaven and hell sometimes. A shift in perspective. Because mostly we are looking from the place of the I, me. Yes, I understand this. I am the one who is meditating. Yes, you know, I used to be this. I once used to practice Buddhism. Now I'm into this now. And this one is what? It's not consistent, not reliable. It's just a thought roaming around in the realm of consciousness. If you know yourself as the consciousness stripped from all the associations with this and thatness, then real peace will come into your mind. This fragmentation will stop, it will not go on. And yet it's not that you lose anything. We imagine you are going to lose. This is another trick of the mind. You imagine that all of this belongs to the mind. It does not. Mind itself belongs to consciousness. Sometimes we say this. I, I'm hearing all of this, but somehow I don't know what to do. 
I don't know how to make full take advantage of it. And I'm saying here and now, even this one who wants to take advantage of it is just a thought. Does it feel is this a depressing news? So much attachment to this feeling of I, identity, me, who will itself also, I, one day I hope I will be enlightened. Well, no. You are already that to which even this statement is pointing. You are already this. Wasn't it St. Francis, I think, who said this? What you are searching for is already where you are searching from, he said. We don't get it. Yes. You say, oh yeah, it's very clever, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you move on. You don't get it. You are that. You are already this. <laughs>